In this video, I will show you how to share a state between multiple components. So in this example, we have the parent component called cart, which has a child called component one, which also has a child called component two. Then we have component three. And finally, we have the counter component. So the counter component allows us to update the quantity. So here we can update the quantity. So when we update the quantity, we want the quantity to appear in the counter component, but also we want it to appear in the parent component. So we want it also to appear here. To do this, we need to share a state between the parent component and the child component. And we can pass this state as props. But this is not practical because we have multiple intermediate components. Another way to share a state between multiple components is to use a hook called useContext. So in this video, I will show you how to use the function useContext. First, let's take a look on the source code. So here in cart.js, we have the cart component, which has the component1 element. So component1 is defined here, and it has component2. Then this is component2, which has also component3. Then here we have component 3, which has the counter component. And here we have the counter component. So for the moment, the counter component has its own state. Then here we can see that we have two buttons. The minus button that allows us to decrease the quantity and the plus button that allows us to increase the quantity. And here we have a span that displays the quantity. So to share a state between multiple components, we need to define it in the parent component. So let's delete the state from here. And let's define it in the parent component. Then let's display the quantity in the cart component. So we can display it just here. Now we need to share this state and the function that allows us to update the state. So we need to create a context. We can create it just here. And because we will use it in the cart component, we can call it cart context. So it is equal to create context. Let's press enter to import this function. And here we can see that it has been imported. Then we need to wrap all the components that will share the state into a cart context provider. So we need to wrap all of this code into a cart context provider. So let's put all of this code inside this element. Then let's share this variable and this function. So just here we have to add the value attribute. So here we need brackets because we will provide a JavaScript expression. Then we will share an object. So when we share an object, we can share any number of variables. So in this object, we will share this variable and this function. Now any component that is a child of the cart context provider is able to request this object. In our case, we need this object in the counter component. So this is the counter component. Let's create a variable. Let's call it data. And it is equal to use context of cart context. So this cart context is this variable. And this is the data that we are requesting from this context. Now we need to use the shared quantity and the shared function. So here we have to write data.quantity and here we have to write data.setQuantity. Let's save the file. Then let's update the quantity. So we can see that the quantity is updated in the counter component and in the cart component. 
So for the moment, all the components that need to share the state are available in the same file. That's why we created the context in the same file of the components. Now I will show you how to share a state between different components in different files. So I will show you how to share the state between the counter component, the cart component, and the nav bar. So we need to define the state in the parent component of these components, which is the app component. So let's move this statement from here. And let's paste it in the app component, which is the parent component of all the components. Then let's create the context in a new file. We can create it in the source folder. Let's call it appcontext.js. Then let's create the context and let's export it. We can call it app context and it is equal to create context. Let's press enter to import this function. Now let's save this file and let's use this context in index.js. So we need to wrap all of these components in app context.provider. So just here we can use app context.provider. Let's press enter to import it. So we can see that it has been imported dot provider. Then let's share this state and this function. So let's add value. Now let's request the quantity in the cart component. So this is the cart component. Let's create a variable. Let's call it data. And it is equal to use context. And we need to provide this function with the name of our context, which is app context. Let's press enter to import this context. So we can see that it has been imported. Now we don't need the cart context anymore. So let's delete it. Let's delete it from here as well. And the quantity that we have here is available in the data object. So here we have to write data.quantity. So we can either use this syntax or also it is possible to use the object destructuring. So just here we can only request the quantity. This means that we will read only the quantity from the shared object. Like this, we don't need to write data dot. Let's delete this. Now let's request the quantity and set quantity in the counter component. So just here in the counter component, we can read the shared data from the up context. So let's delete this and let's write up context. We can also use the object destructuring. So we can delete this variable. Let's replace it with two variables, so we have to write them between brackets. So we need to read the quantity and set quantity. And like this, we don't need to write data dot. So let's delete it from here, then here. Then we need to read this state in the navbar. So let's go to the layout file. So this is the navbar. And we want to display the quantity in this span. So just here we can request the quantity. And it is equal to use context of App context. Of course, we need to import use context and app context, which is already done. Now let's display the quantity. So let's display it in this part.
Now let's save all the files. And here we can see that we have this error. So we need to import use state in index.js. So here we are using use state, but we did not import it. So let's import it. Let's save the file. Now let's update the quantity. And you can see that the quantity is updated in the counter component, in the cart component, and also in the navbar.